Good morning, everybody. Welcome to today's devotion for September 27th. Today's devotion is titled Reckless and Careless. The Bible reading is from Proverbs chapter 14, verses 7 to 16. Stay away from fools, for you won't find knowledge on their lips. The prudent understand where they are going, but fools deceive themselves. Fools make fun of guilt, but the godly acknowledge it and seek reconciliation. Each heart knows its own bitterness, and no one else can fully share its joy. The house of the wicked will be destroyed, but the tent of the godly will flourish. There is a path before each person that seems right, but it ends in death. Laughter can conceal a heavy heart, but when the laughter ends, the grief remains. Backsliders get what they deserve. Good people receive their reward. Only simpletons believe everything they're told. The prudent carefully consider their steps. The wise are cautious and avoid danger. Fools plunge ahead with reckless confidence. Lindis Farn, also known as Holy Island, is a tidal island in England connected to the mainland by a narrow road. Twice a day, the sea covers the causeway. Signs alert visitors to the dangers of crossing during high tide. Yet tourists regularly disregard the warnings and often end up sitting atop submerged cars or swimming to raised safety huts where they can be rescued. The tide is predictable as sure as the rising sun, and warnings are everywhere. You can't possibly miss them. Yet, as one writer described, Lindisfarne is where the reckless try to outrace the tide. Proverbs tells us that it's foolish to be reckless and careless. A reckless person has little regard for wisdom or wise counsel and doesn't practice attentiveness or diligent care for others. Wisdom, however, slows us down to listen and ponder so that we're not carried away by rash emotions or half-baked ideas. Wisdom teaches us to ask good questions and consider the implications of our actions, while reckless people charge forward with little regard for relationships or consequences, or often truth. Prudent people give thought to their steps. While we'll sometimes need to act decisively or swiftly, we can resist recklessness as we receive and practice God's wisdom. He'll give us the guidance we need when we need it. Where have you seen reckless living? How can you avoid reckless living? Or I guess it was, how can you avoid living recklessly? (laughs) How can you avoid living recklessly? Thank you for joining me for today's devotion, and I hope you all have a wonderful day.